Grade 3 Math, number 93, Making a Line Plot. Well, what is a line plot? It's a graph that records each piece of data on a number line. So I have made this nifty number line right here. And what we're going to do is, I've made a ruler that is 18 inches long, and these are actual sizes of inches, and what we're going to do is we're going to measure books. And we're going to see how tall books are, and we'll be able to put the answers on the line plot. Okay? All right, so let's get our first book, and let's measure it. The first book I've got is The Enormous Egg by Oliver Butterworth. Very cute story. Let's measure how tall it is. We're going to line it up over here on this corner and we're going to measure it to the nearest half inch, okay? Would you say it's closer to six and a half or to seven? I think it's closer to seven. So we'll call this a seven, all right? So we'll put it in our pile and we're going to put an X for seven on our line plot, okay? Let's pick our next book. I've got Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events. Okay? Let's measure this one. We'll line it up over by the one inch part. Is this closer to seven or seven and a half? It's closer to seven and a half, isn't it? See how it's right there at the seven and a half mark? All right, so Lemony Snicket is a seven and a half. So we're going to put in between seven and eight is a seven and a half. So we're going to put an X there, okay? All right, the next book we've got is The Babysitter's Club. They're snowbound. The author is Ann M. Martin. I like Babysitter's Club. There's some good stories in there. Okay, we're going to line it up by the one inch. And is it closer to seven, seven and a half, or eight? Seven and a half, isn't it? See it right in between the seven and the eight? So Babysitter's Club is also at seven and a half. So for our line plot, we put the X above the other one. Okay? Next book, Diary of a Wimpy Kid by Jeff Kinney. Okay? This is a hardcover. Very cute story. Okay? Let's measure this book. I'm going to line it up over here at the one inch mark. And would you say it's closer to eight, eight and a half, or nine? I think it's close to eight and a half. What do you think? It's a little past eight and a quarter. So I'd say this is an eight and a half. Okay? Diary of a Wimpy Kid is eight and a half. So in between the eight and the nine, at eight and a half, we're going to put an X. All right, next book, Boxcar Children, The Mystery of the Mixed Up Zoo by Gertrude Chandler Warner. Let's measure the boxcar children. Look at that. It's at seven and a half. See it right in between the seven and the eight? Right there? Okay. Boxcar Children is also seven and a half. Looks like the seven and a halves are winning, huh? Okay, next book. Goosebumps by R. L. Stein. Egg Monsters from Mars. Let's measure this one. Look at that. It's at seven and a half. Looks like most of these paperbacks are seven and a half inches, huh? Okay, so let's put another X for seven and a half. Okay, next book The City of Ember. The first book of Ember, there's four in this series, by Jean Duprow. See? Let's measure this one. This is a paperback also. What do you think is going to happen? Ooh, this one's a little more than seven and a half. Is it closer to seven and a half or eight? I think it's still closer to seven and a half. It's not quite at seven and three-fourths. So I'm going to say that the book of Ember is also a seven and a half, okay? So that's going to get another X. Okay, next book. 
The Amazing Amos and the Greatest Couch on Earth by Susan Seligson and Howie Schneider. Very cute book. His sofa is like a car and he drives all over town. All right, let's measure this one. I'm going to line it up over here by the one. Look at that. This is an 11 inch book. Okay, let's put it in the pile and go over to 11 and give our 11 one X. Okay. The next book I've got is a book by Julia Donaldson. I love Julia Donaldson books. The Snail and the Whale. Very cute book. The snail rides on the whale all over the place. They're friends. Okay, this is a paperback also. So let's measure the spine here. That's what you call where the book is glued together. It's called the spine of the book. Look at that, 10 inches. Snail and the Whale is 10 inches at the spine. So, we're going to put an X here. The next book. This is one you might all have heard of. The Gruffalo. The Gruffalo is also by Julia Donaldson. She's my favorite author. Very cute story. It's on Netflix. As a little video, if you've never heard of this, you should watch it. It's very cute. It's a very smart mousy who tricks everybody. Okay, we're going to line the spine up. And it looks like we've got ten and a half for the Gruffalo, okay? Ten and a half. Okay. The next book we've got is Ordinary Amos and the Amazing Fish. This is a very cute book also by Eugenie Fernandez and Henry Fernandez. It's about a fish who catches a boy and he doesn't really take good care of him. So... It's flipping the story around on not taking care of the pet. Very cute story. Let's measure the spine. And it looks like it is 10 inches for an ordinary Amos and the amazing fish. So we're going to put another X by the 10. So 10 has two of them, but 7.5 is still winning. Okay, we got a couple more. Here we've got the Spiderwick Chronicles. This is a field guide. It's got little pictures of fairies and stuff, and it's very cute. This is a hardcover, and it is seven inches. Seven inches at the spine. So let's put an X by the seven inches. The next book we've got is Winnie the Pooh by A.A. A. Milne, and this is a very old 1960s copy that I've got. Let's measure it at the spine. It's a hardcover. And look at that, even though it's a hardcover, it's at seven and a half inches like the paperbacks were. Okay, seven and a half for Winnie the Pooh. Boy, seven and a half sure is winning, isn't it? Okay, we've only got two more books left. The True Story of the Three Little Pigs. And let's measure the spine. And it's ten and a half inches. I'm going to put an X by ten and a half. And our very last book is another Julia Donaldson book, Tyrannosaurus Drip. Very cute book. Okay. I'm going to measure. This is a big one, huh? Wow. Look at this one. This one's 12 inches. That's a big book. So, that's way over here. Look at I didn't even have a 12. 12 would be here. So we got one for 12. So here's our line plot. Those are our book sizes at the spine. So what would you say from this information? How tall are most of the books that I showed? Most of them are seven and a half inches. None of them were this small, were they? That would be a little tiny book. There are books that are real small, but we didn't see any of those just now. But that's how you make a line plot. You take the information and you mark it on a number line and you make X's to show which is the, has the most and which has the fewest. Making a line plot. Maybe you can find some stuff around the house to make a line plot for. Maybe you can make a line plot for the length of your crayons or 
the length of your fingers. There you go. See you next video.